It's one of those nights that just didn't fall for us really, you know, a, a, a good first half but, you know, you can't back it up with a second half, you don't really deserve anything out of it, do you? Well, for 65 minutes you're, you're well in the game, you're, in, in fact, you're probably on top in the game, you know, we create four really good chances in the first half, four opportunities where all the players are, are unmarked and the disappointing thing for them in there is that they didn't work the court goalkeeper, they missed the target on all four occasions. So. You've got to learn to be ruthless when you create chances in a tight game. And we created the four best chances in the first half. We were well disciplined, we were well organised, and it was a very difficult evening for Cork. And then we fall asleep for one set piece. That's what we do. And we're punished. And then we hit the self-destruct button. And you're 2-0 down at home to Cork, and you're standing on the sideline wondering how. And then you have to pinch yourself and, and realise, well, we are because we fall asleep at a set piece and we have a, a self-destruct moment where we concede a really poor second goal as well and that's the game over and I'd say that I think Bulger and Sean Murray have two efforts from 25 yards that don't threaten their goal and, and that is the 90 minutes summed up, 95 minutes summed up and you've got to have your concentration levels for the whole 95 minutes not for 94 or 93 or 94 and a half you need to be your constant Tracing levels need to be spot on for the 95 minutes and your decision making as a player on the ball, on the pitch has to be spot on because if you make the wrong decisions and you lose your concentration in tight games between two good sides, you'll be punished and that's what happened to us. Yeah, and I suppose without trying to look for excuses or anything, you know, does it show the difference in, you know, the, the full time, bigger budget, you know, you know, bigger name players, if you want to put it that way, the likes of Greg Bulger and Sean Murray, you mentioned, you know, they're, they're boys that have been there and done it at the, at the top level of the game, you know, so uh, while we have lads, you know, as you said, the, you know, we've got a lot of young lads and a lot of our experienced players out injured, you know, does it show the wee bit of the golf that's there? I, mean, I, I, I to be honest, Nigel, no, I don't think so. I, I, I would agree if I'm coming in here and standing and we're second best from the first minute to 90. We certainly weren't second best from the first minute to 90. There's a lot of learning in there for the younger players. And you, you do talk about the experience that they have, you know, and, and obviously in the middle of the park and, and Sean Murray and, and, and Bulger and then young O'Sullivan in there as well. But the three that we had in there in, in the first 65 minutes of the game, Ryan Rainey, Tony McNamee and, and young Luke O'Brien, competed very, very well. And up until we make the mistake, we are well on top of the game. So, no, I'm certainly not going to stand here and, and talk about budgets and full time and because it's 11 v 11 and we competed really well in the 11 v 11. Would you like more money? Would you like a bigger budget? Of course you would. Would you like to be full time? Of course you would. But that's the situation that we don't have right now at the moment. And we just have to deal with what we have and just control what we can control and not worry about what anyone else is doing. And we've done great work this week. And uh, the football the football people out there that, that watched that game for the, for the 95 minutes will be saying that Finn Harps team was well organized well disciplined, kept their shape very well, created numerous chances in the game, I reckon up to five or six really good opportunities in the game and don't take them and Cork create nothing in the game, score from a set piece where we fall asleep and then score from a mistake and that is the difference when you get the opportunities in the big games, you have to be ruthless in front of goal and we just weren't ruthless in front of goal this evening. Yeah, I suppose it there's a reason the likes of young who may have been looked at by big clubs as well. You know that, as you say, that wee bit of composure in front of goal as well for a lad his age. You know, he can't buy that. No, he he picks the ball up. He he goes across the defender. He shows a real coolness and calmness. He waits for Tim to make his decision before he makes his, and he he, he slots it away comfortably. And that's that's that ruthless edge that you need. And we just didn't have that in, in their 18-yard box when them types of opportunities failed us. And that's, that, that's the difference, fine margins. And that's what this evening was, fine margins. Uh, I'm devastated for them. Uh, I'm proud of each and every one of them of, with how they've coped with everything that, so far that they've had to cope with to put in a performance like that was, was great. But at the end of the day, we get nothing out of it. And that's the hard thing for them. They've put so much effort into it. 
that they're, they're coming away from nothing and they're they're hugely disappointed in there and I think they're disappointed because they know it was an opportunity missed because of the way they had performed and that's something that they just have to learn to learn from the next time that you're in a game like that and you create them opportunities then you have to be ruthless in front of goal to get anything from them especially in the games in the first division where there's so little between all the sides Cork have just been able to find a way to win games of football and that, that shows why they're our top side they're 12 games in now and they're unbeaten and it, 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 and that's that's magnificent for them in this division because this division is very competitive so they're finding ways to win and again you look at their goals and they've scored six in their last two games against ourselves in Longford and five of them have come from set pieces and one's come from a mistake so that just goes to show you how ruthless they are and that, that, that's something that we need to learn from because when we had the opportunities, we need, to be, we need to be punishing teams, not just Cork this evening, whatever team we play. Yeah, I suppose then, as an aside from that, you know, whether it's a night we pay tribute to a club legend and well, more than that, a, a couple of club legends as well, as said, uh, it, you know, the generous donation from the tea ladies there and, and then we pay tribute with the armbands and the minutes applause for Derek Wilkinson, you said, how you work now? Yes, uh, the work that the ladies do in the in the tea room and they do over in the tuck shop, you know, they donated the football club six thousand euros there this week, which is phenomenal. And this football club's based on built on volunteers and built on people that give up their time on a Friday evening to provide a service for the hard working, honest supporters that come through our gate. And it's them hard working, honest supporters who are paying their hard earned money to buy the, the chocolate and the crisps and the the, the drinks and the soup and, and, and all the stuff that is an offer and it just goes to show how much how much it's it, it, it's appreciated you know and the ladies at work every home game and, and do sterling work you know that goes so unnoticed so so unnoticed for them to make a, a donation this evening or last week of 6,000 euro it just, it just goes to show you that there's a lot of people out there who do cure for Finn Harps Football Club and, and long may that continue and I want to thank each and every one of them that, that's bought a soup or tea or coffee or, or any sweets and snacks I, I do and I want them to continue to keep doing that because it's every penny helps at the football club regards Derek I think Derek would have been proud of the performance this evening and there's no question about it the word sometimes legends used very you know easily but in Derek's case that's that's certainly not the case he's, he was definitely a, a legend of this football club the amount of times that he's he's been there to help us out when things have not been good and he's always been there and he's always been the voice of reason and he was always somebody who always wanted to put the football club first and when we were struggling and we needed help financially and other ways Derek was the go-to man to go to, so he will be sadly missed by everyone at this football club. And I'm just proud that we were able to put in a performance that he would have been proud of, but just disappointed we didn't get the result. But it is a huge, huge hole to fill at this football club. And it's like all football clubs, they're, they're, there's people come in and do sterling work and sadly pass away and, and they leave a huge hole and, and, and Derek's one of those men that, that certainly has left a massive hole at this football club and one that will be very, very hard to fill.